This video shows different methods to remove subretinal bands. The smaller bands we make a small retinotomy over the band, then grasp it with a forcep and exert a direct pull over the band. Similarly sterilate bands with small radial branches can be removed by pulling at the epicenter of the band. Small radial bands associated with retinal breaks can be removed by pulling the band away from the retina. Large thick subretinal bands which cannot be grasped by the forceps, can be held by active suction and pulled out in the vitreous cavity. For long circumferential bands that are tightly adherent to retina, the band is first grasped by the forceps, then it is pulled sideways in a to and fro motion until one side of the band becomes loose, finally the other side of the band is pulled out. This is another case demonstrating the same technique. In this way, multiple retinotomies can be avoided. Sometimes the bands are too long and, while pulling them they tend to slip back into the retina. This problem can be avoided by using the spaghetti technique. In this two instruments are used to pull the subretinal band. You can either do by manual surgery and use two forceps, or you can use your light pipe to roll out the band. Let's again see the use of light pipe to remove the band in slow motion. Many times, while we are pulling the band, it snaps. The edge of the remaining band goes subretinal and is difficult to catch or pull. We can take a forceps subretinal to the other side of the band to catch it. The caught end of the band then easily trails itself behind the forceps. This way we can avoid creating another retinotomy. Rarely, if the band is too fragile and breaks again and again. We sometimes have to create multiple retinotomies to completely remove the subretinal traction. If the subretinal fibrous tissue is more like a sheet rather than a band, then we need to create a large retinectomy to expose the undersurface of retina. 
The subretinal band is then caught at one end and delaminated from retina slowly. Once the whole band is separated it can be removed. Sometimes, the subretinal sheet is too thick and adherent to retina. The sheet is quite thick and heavy to be removed by the end gripping forceps. The vitrectomy cutter can be used to grasp the subretinal band at the posterior edge and peel the sheet on mass. This was a patient with large subretinal sheet under the retina, a large retinectomy was created. When the undersurface of retina was exposed, it was seen that the subretinal fibrosis was loosely adherent to retina at the edges only, but it was extending almost 360 degree below the retina. 360 degree retinectomy was done to fully expose the subretinal space. The subretinal tissue was then grasped from its posterior edge near the optic nerve head and peeled off from the retina en masse in the manner as if skin of a dead animal is flayed. The membrane was then dissected from the anterior edge of the retina. This membrane was then slowly chewed away by the vitrectomy cutter. 